Hey guys, Ben with Red Dirt Chilies. I'm going to do the Ghost Orange Cream. Orange Cream. It is a orange soda. Orange cream soda. <laughs> um, I like orange. I like cream sometimes, but not like too much. So, it's all good. It tastes just like an orange cream soda, like an orange cream popsicle, which that's on the thing. So I got to give it to them. I mean, it really tastes like that. Natural and artificial flavors. I generally like more uh, artificial personally. I have um, some diseases. Um... Okay, so as far as flavor, um, okay, as far as accuracy, this is like a nine or a 10. I mean, I'm not a uh, big orange cream person, uh, so maybe I'm not the best person to ask in regards to that, but in the past when I've had an, an orange creamsicle or whatever, it tastes just like that, like, so maybe a 10 on that note, nine, eight to a 10, somewhere in there. Um, the more I drink it, less, a little bit less creamy, a little more orange, maybe. Overall, um, solid C. But that's a lot of personal preference. If you like orange cream, if that's not something like, like, like if that sounds good to you, then by all means, this might be an A. You know, it tastes exactly what it said. But for me personally, I, um, yeah, like, for me personally, I'm just not like super into orange cream. I think I'd rather if it was just orange. Like I said, I like cream here and there. Um, I like red cream sodas, which are big red. If you guys have ever been around Texas and seen that or tried that. Red Pop by uh, Fago. I believe it's the first red, uh, red cream soda ever. There are specific subtype of cream sodas that are called red cream sodas. Um, so yeah, Red Pop, Fago, Insane Clown Posse brand soda. Not really, they, they obviously predate the Insane Cloud Posse, but they're a Detroit soda company. Uh, there's some other ones too, but those are the big ones. Actually, uh, HEB, which is a gas station down in Texas, gas station, a grocery store down in Texas has a knockoff, uh, well, I guess it's not really, it's not really a knockoff Big Red, it's uh, their own Red Pop, Red Soda, Red Cream Soda, and that, that's what I really prefer. I really like theirs. I'm really going on a tangent here. Basically what I'm saying is that I like red cream sodas, but orange cream soda, this is like a little too much vanilla for me. Like vanilla mixed with uh, citrus fruit is like a little, little off for me. But they have these in four packs, you know, at Walmart. You, you save like two cents an ounce or whatever. <clears throat> so, these are the cheapest ones you, I, could, I could get at Walmart, so I bought a four pack and I certainly would drink them still. <clears throat> it's not like the uh, Sour Patch Kids or any of those like Warhead flavors. I can't do those at all. Those are way, way too much for me. So um, yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, if you are, you know, in the market, uh, definitely think about picking it up. Um, obviously, then you've got all the nootropics and all that, so that's always, I'm a big uh, ghost fan. I think I've tried about everything now. I'm getting pretty close, so I'll probably finish up the ones I haven't posted. Uh, like I said, I probably am not going to do videos on the candy flavors because I just don't, I find them so gross. I don't know if people would really want me to say like, oh yeah, this is a zero, you know? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, this is pretty good. Give it a try, especially if you think you might like it. 
if you're on the fence, uh, you know, I'd say maybe, um, like me, you know, um, not my favorite, but definitely drinkable. So anyway, thanks for tuning in guys. Uh, we have three, we have four more like severe weather storms in the next three days, which is insane, especially for in the May 20th, like May 20 plus, like after May 20th. We usually don't have a ton of severe weather in Oklahoma. Um, usually it's the, the beginning of May. So I'm really hoping that my crop will not get wrecked by all these hail storms that are coming, tornadoes. And if they're, if you know, if they all survive, which I'm hoping they will. Excuse me. I should have, I think maybe some super hots to try at the end of June. That's what I'm hoping for, probably more in July. Um, and I'll start posting those shortly. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I will, if I can find any of those other more rare ghost, ghost flavors, I will post them. And until then, you guys take care. Thanks. Bye.